영상은 좀 correcting some misconceptions about my misconceptions. I just want to clarify some things that I said in my misconceptions about Korea video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, it's up here. Please take a look, enjoy. I think it's a pretty good one. I put a lot of effort into that video. But despite the time that I took in recording and editing, adding like cute little edits and stuff, I still did not completely um, communicate myself in the 100% most clear way. I just want to clear some of the ways in which I misspoke. So first and foremost, something that I did not explicitly say in the video, but that I do think it's important for everyone watching to know, is that when I talk about something and I don't provide links to evidence or back it up with fact, then I want you to assume that it's my opinion on the subject. It's not the, you know, end all be all fact, factual information. Because sometimes I state things as if they are so, when what I mean is that it is so for me. So I want you to understand that everything that I have gone through and my experiences in Korea are not necessarily what your experiences in Korea would be. Make sure that you always take everything I say with a grain of sugar because um, I don't want you to be salty about it. I just want you to know that I don't know everything. Um, what I experience in Korea is not what everyone will experience in Korea. And I am an imperfect human and I'll be making mistakes sometimes. So make sure that you formulate your own opinions. Or if you need to know something uh, as factual information, do your own research. Uh, the next thing I want to clear up about that video. In the beginning part of the video, I talked about Korea and whether or not it's homogenous. Actually, I talked about whether or not it's homogenized, but let's like pretend I didn't do that. So Korea is a homogenous country, factual, okay? And I guess it came off in the video as though I was saying that it's not. Actually, there's so many people, it's so diverse, and that's not that's not factual. All you have to do is look up a, any statistic about Korea and you'll find that, yeah, it's still 97% Korean people and only 3% foreign people and a lot of the foreign people are Asians. Here's an article I found from Yonhap News that says Korea has like almost 5% foreign population, but that's outdated information. It This article was published in February 2020. That's pre-pandemic, uh, so you know probably lower now right so generally speaking korea is yeah definitely still homogenous what i meant was that i thought i would come to korea and i'd be special i was gonna be one in a million and i'm not <laughs> there are a lot of talented black people here not in proportion to non-black people here obviously there's way more koreans than anyone else in korea but what I meant is that when I thought I would just hop over to another country and bam, I'm gonna be that one, you know, famous black girl. I'm gonna be that one talented black girl. Like that, that was my misconception. Um, because amongst black people in Asia, I'm regular. Well, I am special, you know, my mom says I'm special. I'm very special, but you know what I'm trying to say. I was thinking real high of myself when I needed to be thinking, working real hard is what I needed to do. I needed to be working harder. Um, and beyond that, I wanted to say that there are places you can go to find foreigners and make foreign friends. Uh, you can make friends through Facebook groups that have Korea in the title, like black people in Korea, black women in Korea, brothers and sisters of South Korea. There's lots of Facebook groups in which you can meet um, 
sorry not just black but other non-korean people you could also go anywhere where there's a military base and meet other non-korean people so there are hubs where you can find groups of foreigners but yes the country as a whole is still very much so homogenous i'm sorry if it sounded like i was saying it was not Nextly, there's a part of the video in which I said that Korea is not as beautiful as it looks in Korean dramas and music videos. Um, so sorry if that sounded like I was saying Korea is not beautiful. What I meant was, when you watch uh, Korean dramas and music videos, they are usually set in big cities such as Seoul, Busan, Daegu, but those big cities in general do not look the way they come out on music videos. They're a lot more crowded, they're a lot more busy, they're a lot more dirty. That has to do with it just being a big city. Big cities are like that. But is Korea as a country as a whole, is it beautiful? Yes, it absolutely is. You just have to like get out of the big city or you know, know where to go within the big city. Um, one of the beautiful things about Korea is that even within the big cities, they do have designated green spaces where they're not allowed to build or make, you know, tear down the trees, tear down the green. They make sure that they maintain some of the green spaces. Um, I also mentioned that when you get close to the Han River, it smells bad. And that for me, that's my opinion. Um, I find that a lot of people agree with that. However, there are lots of bodies of water. I mean, it's a peninsula. There are a lot of bodies of water, water that are not super polluted, that don't smell bad. There are a lot of mountains for going hiking. Korea is very mountainous. There are a lot of beautiful natural sites, even within smaller areas. So like I, for example, live in kind of the countryside. But if you go and you check out my Instagram, you'll see that for the entire month of April, I posted with the hashtag floral April. These are just little areas in my neighborhood that were just blooming the most beautiful flowers because it was springtime in Korea. And springtime in Korea is beautiful. It's flowers everywhere. We don't have it like that in Texas, okay? We get blue bonnets and dandelions. That's what we get. I don't know, I know it's, there's probably other flowers elsewhere, but I've seen blue bonnets and dandelions in Texas. And they got a lot more flowers here, it's very beautiful, it's lovely. So I just wanted to clarify that I did not intend to communicate that Korea is not beautiful. That's not what I meant at all. I meant it's not like it is on TV. <laughs> what else can I say? I saw a lot of comments on that video that referred to that video as clickbait and I highly disagree. I was very offended. The video is not clickbait. I answered all the misconceptions except for the one and I basically I answered it. I just didn't say the words. Hello. People are different sizes and shapes and what, 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 what else am I supposed to say? Okay, well, some of the things I got right in the video. I think a lot of people will agree with me when I say that uh, you're not automatically unattractive when you enter Korea just because you look different. Um, and you're not automatically different than what their beauty standards are just because you might be bigger than the standard that you've seen on the, their TV shows or darker skin than their standard that you've seen on TV shows. Understand that just because you have these ideas of what the beauty standard in Korea is doesn't mean you're going to come here and be considered unattractive. And also, even if you think that that is the case, that you're here and no one wants to be with me, I'm unattractive in this country, like don't let that affect your personal self-esteem because at the end of the day, um, you are beautiful. <laughs> I sound like I'm like being funny, but like, I don't know, I can't do this cheesy stuff, that's not me. You're hot stuff, okay, no matter who you are, to somebody. 
let that somebody be yourself okay be hot stuff to you and i promise you you'll be happier for it yeah so i just wanted to make sure that i cleared those things up for you guys i never want you to feel like i'm giving you false or like misleading information because that's not the point of my channel the point of my channel is actually to give you honest and true information or opinions and I want to make sure that I'm entertaining you in the process. So I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to be fun. But, you know, always call me out on the crap. If you think that I'm lying or I am giving you false information, I'm giving you misleading information, or it's not clear that what I'm telling you is my opinion and not just, like, facts, then, yes, always make sure that you comment me, contact me. Call me out. Tell me that I'm wrong. I don't mind. I, I don't like to be wrong, but I don't like to not know that I'm wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. So bye.